Hola, hola, soy el día de hoy. Um, so, hi, you guys, everybody. I'm going to be doing a Spanish and English version um, in one video again. Uh, the reason why is because it's easier for everybody to understand. Es muy fácil de entender así en español y en inglés. Uh, probablemente habrá cosas que me entienden más en inglés y hay cosas que me entienden más en español. So probably you're going to find a lot of interesting things and more understanding in an English version rather than Spanish. Um, make sure to fill me, fill me in and tell me what you like. So today we're going to be talking about my experience working at Lancome. So I was hired by Lancome and I, I was, I'm very happy. Um, I'm, I still work for them uh, just as a makeup artist. Um, so I love the fact that I'm able to do and create stuff. They have created me like nobody ever. Um, they took me to a... How do you call that? Business trip? Business? Yeah, business trip. Business training, I guess. Um, and then they treated me like nobody would treat me. Um, they pretty much paid for everything. They uh, It's called the Echo. Uh, or the Echo Lay. Echo Lay by Lancome. Um, the reason why is because I obviously applied for the job. Um, I wanted to have more um, stability in my life, and now that I have my dad, like a lot of you guys don't know that, uh, my dad was missing when I was living in Vegas for over, what, four to five months, and he was missing in Tijuana. Well, we were not sure, actually, if he was missing in Tijuana or San Diego. So I, we, me and my partner, we ended up moving to um, from Vegas to California, and the reason why is because my dad. So we pretty much felt like it was a really good change, although I also feel like it was. Uh, uh, it's been a whole lot of changes lately. Um, I ended up moving to California, and then after we found them, um, I'm not gonna be really into it. But I, police officers decided that it was a really good idea for me to take him away from California and take him to a safe place. And I knew for a fact that um, he had enjoyed previously living here in, in, in Indiana. So I said, why not? Just let's go ahead and take him. You know, it's just a, it's something he's going to enjoy. something he's going to have fun. Uh, Domel has never seen the snow. So I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and take it. Um, so we decided after we found that after four to five months, I believe we could go with Mason in, in May. And then we found, no, in April, at the end of April. And then we found him until the end of August. And then that's when we actually moved here to Indiana. Um, I have to say that I love, love, love California. I liked a little, from 1 to 10, I liked 10 the highest, of course. I like Vegas so far about what? And a two, three? Um... And I just didn't really care for um, for Vegas that much, I guess. So, but California is like a hundred. Like if uh, California is a top. But going back to where I was actually talk, oh, the main one of the main topics in this conversation of, of getting on ready with me. Uh, so once we found him, we moved to Indiana because it was a more like stable and um, healthy place for my dad to live in. Um, I've honestly found myself surrounded by a lot of people, really nice people, but really not nice people. Like I found some reasons going in here, and that I don't want to go into detail. I don't want anybody to be feel, anybody feelings, nobody feelings, nobody's feelings getting hurt. You know, it, it already happened. I, I don't feel like I should discuss about it. We'll bring the mail for that later. So he he's like the real deal. And that's why I said we're gonna bring him over. Um, and honestly, I just didn't feel like it was just the nicest place ever. Um, I love Indiana. We've been able to go to Chicago. I believe it, the one down. Um, uh, the other states around surrounded, like the one on the east side and then one in the southeast. Um. I don't know, Chicago was more exciting, but it was way, way, way off expensive. Um, I was very happy to go with Duhamel because uh, that actually was the first day he actually saw the snow in, in, like the real snow in there. And for some reason in Indiana, when I lived here before, about seven to eight years ago, 
Um, by now, it should like it was already uh, snowing, so I was, I'm very impressed that it we have no snow here. Uh, forgive me one minute. Um, not one minute, but you know, I'm gonna take a little longer. I'm gonna pull up more of my Neliva cleansing wipes, which I, I love. They are like the best ever. And today I put a lot of makeup for a makeup tutorial on Jaffa. Not on Jaffa, but you know, hey. Um, on a Jaffa group. For my ex Jaffa friends. No, not my ex Jaffa friends. My still Jaffa friends. Anyways, um. So living in Indiana has been obviously been one of the a really good challenge. It's been a really nice, stable place. Um, I like it. I honestly do like it. I feel like it's really amazing to spend time with my dad, but it's been hard. When I say hard, it's been a little chaotic. Um, he still hasn't um, recovered his memory a hundred percent, so it's just hard to for me to you know do stuff with him and uh, expect to expect him to do everything like the way he used to um it was just like a nonsense ongoing uh and the reason why it's because i felt like we were all wondering what was going on with him and for some reason we didn't know we actually i actually found him on a shelter and i was like really shook or shook it i was like impressed by uh i received actually here's the story so we're gonna be making it a little bit longer so make sure you grab your popcorn or some shit going on um make sure you're you're not watching this around any kids uh today we're gonna be reviewing this kills kills mask and this is the it comes with the comes with the rare earth deep pore cleansing mask Turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance and then calendula and aloe soothing hydration mask and cilantro and orange extra extract potent defending mask So I feel like between these two either the energizing or the soothing. I want to do the energizing It just it just speaks to me to my heart. So um, Where was I? So I was, we were actually thinking about moving from San Diego to LA. I hadn't heard anything from my dad and not even the police officers. Nobody, nobody would tell anything. And I was just like shook by it. I was not happy about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. You know, hey, what are we supposed to do? It was a hot mess, um, to say the least. And for some reason, um... I'm gonna grab a little bit of toner. We're gonna utilize him for the first time. It's toner of Dumal. This is the Tonic, Dish Tonic Comfort Lotion uh, Rehydrating Comfort Toner for dry skin. Um, I was a little concerned about moving from San Diego to Los Angeles because we weren't sure if my dad was still up. This is a very like dense, like it's not very liquidy. Did you, did you see this? Like I can't even open it, it's still there. Like it's like a very jelly comb. Jelly consistency. Um, we were thinking about moving and we were like, hey, if we have to do this, we'll just do it. Um, so I don't know. We were living on our car. The reason why is because it was so expensive and where we, were, where we had been living before, the lady had... Um, enter our room and she had stolen some stuff and it was like a hot mess we, and well we ended up obviously renting from somebody else but this lady was like a hot mess like seriously like a hot mess like she had no respect for anybody uh we were all the time very quiet and we don't get in trouble with anybody we're always we always mind our own business so i ended up um she ended up being like um I don't want to say the word, but but hurt because we were always very quiet and very kept, kept to ourselves. So she was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like you guys are upset. I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, lady, come on. Why don't we don't have the time for your bullshit? But anyways, we ended up leaving the place. Um, so 
So we ended up carrying our, all, all of our stuff in our car. And then we were living with one of my ex-friends um, in on Oceanside. And um, he could only allow us to stay for a little period of time. Uh, business wasn't going as great as I wished it would have gone with Jafra and everything else. So um, uh, we're going to open this baby that Disney kills it's true medicine cranberry seed energizing radiant mask 0.95 ounces 28 milliliters made in new york it's the red box in here and this is kind of orangey um and honestly i this is a brand new mask he hasn't opened it it's like at the mouse gift something going on so um we have a little bit over here so we're gonna use that a little bit it looks like an orange stain, uh, orange stain, and it was just hard, um, to say the least. It's like a very, it smells like orange. It was like um, really hard. So Damel and I, we were living with, um, I think we were actually living with another friend. We had stopped living in our car for like two days, and we ended up going to one of our friends that I had met previously at the LGBT Center in Oceanside and I had asked him to stay over for a couple of nights he said yes so we went over and we stayed over and then in the morning the first night actually we didn't stay two days we stayed only one and then the first day uh, he actually uh, the, I received a phone call from an uh, unknown number and I was very happy and I was very pleased and I'm always going to be grateful with them the police officers they ended up calling me and she said, um, I think we, we might, I think we might have found your, your dad and he might, he, he, he is, we're not a hundred percent sure that he is the one, but everything sounds like it. Um, and he was in, in a shelter in, um, in Tijuana, like, you know where the border from San Diego is? It was like four hours away from it. I was like, this is Entangles. It just kind of like has that freshness, fresh, freshness, freshness to uh, fill into it, and I was just like impressed how much I had to do in order to get him back, and I was not hesitant about it. So when I arrived to this place, they looked like a really, um, they were expecting me for sure. So when I got there, actually, um, and this is very hard because I actually don't talk, I haven't talked about this very descriptively with anybody. So when I arrived there, not even with the mail. So when I had arrived there, I felt like, I don't know. I just felt like everybody was kind of putting a, um, putting a game into it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, no, nothing that would, that was happening was very real. I felt like everybody was pretty much acting. It was natural. Um... I felt like um, none of that would have was real to me. It it just didn't really make any sense. So I was like very impressed that um, all these people were like acting like very friendly and very happy, and that I did. I was like, I'm not having this. So when I got there, I was sat by one of the administrators. I was supposedly, allegedly, the son of the owner of the shelter, which is a woman. Uh, and she's and he said, well, we're gonna need a cooperation from you and he asked for like this extravagant amount of money And I was only carrying like probably like $20 Because you know, it's a shelter if you go to a shelter here They don't ask you for money to pick up anybody, but apparently they do um, So anyways, I was very thankful. I was like, hey uh, One of my uncles that I still do know in Mexico he was like, I have a couple of friends, they can go with you to pick him up so you don't feel uncomfortable, so you don't feel unsure. And I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do it. Um, so we went ahead and we did it. And um, first of all, when I had entered the premises of them, of, of the shelter, they locked the door. They locked it with a, like, um, how do you call that? The lock. And I was like, so they sat me and they asked me for the money. And the guy asked me for money. And I said, I don't have anything. You know, I wasn't told that I was, I was going to need any money. And then he's like, well, we're not going to release your dad. And how how come he he's your dad, but you were not a... Um, 
you guys were not paying attention. It's your fault that he went missing and he, da 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 da. I was like, dude, do you understand that he was okay when before he he went missing? Um, so it was like a very uncomfortable place, and I said, you know what? I'm just not gonna have it. I'm gonna go because I I still haven't even seen my dad. And we're like, hold on, we're gonna get my, my mom, she's the administrator and the owner of the place. I said, okay, we're gonna clean up my brush with the elf brush. And then I massage it. I massage this baby. And I was like, okay, fine, go ahead and do it. Oh, by the way, how much, how many minutes am I supposed to have this? I'm like, la 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 la. And I'm like, I don't even know. None of this says anything, which by the way, I'm like very into the conversation and I haven't even said this is a mix and mask mini it's $49 it's a $68 value it's from the brand Kills but it doesn't say how much how many minutes you're supposed to have this we're just gonna leave it for 10 minutes so they came over and they the lady came over first and then she's like well we're gonna need money you know uh, we don't have any uh, um source of income, we don't have any resource of income, of money, so you have to pay for this. I'm like, lady, I don't have any money. I'll be glad to give you like $10 or $15 or $20 if you want it, but you know, I'm just coming for my dad. I don't, I don't come here prepared for like, I'm not a millionaire. I live day by day. I actually was living like two days ago in a car. So she's like, well, how are you supposed to take care of him and whatever, whatever? And I was like, oh my God. Anyways. So they, I asked them if they could bring my dad over. It's already clean. Um, and they, they did brought him in, and I was very impressed. I was shook it. He looked really old. He had, he had like this beard going on. He like a really white beard. He didn't recognize me at first. And they said, "Do you guys, do you know this guy right here?" And I was like, "I hope he says yes." And I didn't act very excited because I didn't want it to. Take, I did not want them to take advantage of me, because I I had already seen that they they wanted to take advantage. I was like, um, I was very excited. I wanted to, first of all, cry, and you know, I was very excited. I was very happy that I I was able to see my dad. It just, it was just unfortunate. Um, and then, um, he didn't recognize me at first, so I, but I had a pic, I had pictures with me, I had pictures with, on my phone, I have pictures everywhere, and, uh, I have printed out a couple of pictures of him, so they knew I was his son, and for some reason the police officers in, uh, San Diego had told already police officers down in Tijuana, so they had already informed these people from, um, the shelter, and I was like, okay, um, so they walked me through this like a whole unit where they had everybody sleeping, everybody seemed to be very stable, very nice, very clean, very organized too. They did all of them look very hungry though. My dad was like super skinny. He was like I wanna say twenty eight, but he's actually thirty four waist, you know. He's like medium to large and he was like super small, like excess small. And I was like Um, anyway, so I was just really sad um, at the moment, and um, when they are bringing him over, they decided to let him go with me, and I was very happy and very thankful for that. Um, so um, I jumped into the car with the uh, friends from my uncle, who I didn't, who I actually still don't know in person, and I was like, "Thank you for guys for coming over. Thank you guys for helping me out, and all this and da da da." And so we crossed the border and then uh, we moved over here to Indiana. And to make the long story short, um, you know, we ended up looking for jobs. And one of the jobs where I actually applied, it was Lancome. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm always going to be thankful to Lancome. They hired me. They invested in me. And honestly, it's a really good brand. It's a really good brand because it um, delivers the results. Um, I just didn't want to combine them. So for right now, we're just going to leave it up. This will be my video for my dad rather than just like a video for Lancome. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I honestly had a hard time. I, every time I, I remember everything, it just feels so surreal and so deep in my heart that I don't want to cry. I don't want to feel like I'm, you know, so, stuff like that. I just don't feel like I want to do it.
Um, and it's just very personal, something very personal that I have never spoken to anybody. And I just feel like it should be like, I, I can't put it in words how much pain does somebody goes through. I'm going to clean up my face now with this beautiful towel that I have right here. Mm, it's orange. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my day. So, I feel like I feel like you will never be able to understand and hopefully you don't go through that, but you'll never be able to understand what how much pain can somebody goes through when they lose a member of their family or it's kidnapped or anything else. Like it's insane how much pain. Like you don't know the person, you don't know where it's going, you don't know if they have been fed, you don't know anything. It's just mind blowing how much pain can somebody go when some when something like that happens. Oh my gosh. So so far so good, so good. So I'm gonna clean up my face for right now. So far it feels really good. I've been really 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 soft. So I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. I just feel like this towel wasn't really clean. I'm gonna leave it like that. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this chit chat talking with me, let me know in the comments down below. And excuse me if I'm still cleaning my face because I feel like there's like duck hairs everywhere. But it does feel really good. It feels very hydrated and very soft. So, so far so good. Uh, let me know if you wanna still me do it, more chit chats with you guys. I'll be more than happy. Thank you for watching. And I'm sorry I didn't get to do the Spanish version at this time, but I hope you understand everything that I went through. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.